Yeah, that looks a bit odd, doesn't it? So yesterday's charter, uh, full boat. Um, actually pulled the pin early because the weather was meant to be coming with vengeance that afternoon and it was already picking up pretty bad. So I pulled the pin, um, started heading home. As it turns out, we'd already bagged out anyway, so that was all good, everyone had their fish. Uh, but about 10 miles out from South Passage, noted the engine temp started to creep up a little bit first, and then just skyrocketed, stuck my head out the side, and um, we had no water flow, so I quickly shut her off. Um, jumped downstairs to see what's going on, and, and soon worked out that I reckon our uh, main raw water pump had crapped the bed, so. Um, quick glance at my phone first to see if anyone was around just in case we did need a tow in and um, Coral Bay was actually having its own emergency at the time so no one was really available. It's a bit of a bugger. Um, yeah, 10, outs, 10 miles out from South Passage would have been blowing 20 knots plus easy and only getting worse. But um, ended up coming up with the idea of plumbing the deck hose straight into the main heat exchanger. Um, that at least keep the engine cool. So I did that. Um, engine yeah kept the engine cool um, had to um, undo the, the stern gland right um, all the way so that had plenty of water flow because that wasn't getting its water feed and obviously we didn't have an intercooler either so the water feed for that wasn't connected um, but yeah it was we were able to um, putt home at about eight knots and get inside and get everyone home fill up the fish up and now here I am today we'll um, jump downstairs and work out what's going on Do this. Here we go. Still recording. So yeah, there's our main raw water pump. Um, she, pretty sure she shit the bed. Um, so we just disconnected a bit of the hosing, Jerry rigged our um, deck hose into that. Yeah, so we just disconnected all the hosing to the intercooler and everything and just plumbed our deck hose straight into the heat exchanger. So there's our, um, our deck, deck hose pump, so she was still all good. Um, she's got a different pickup as well, so it bypasses all that. And yeah, a couple of spare parts and plumb that into there and it seemed to work all right. So we'll bugger that off and get this pump out. memory the only way to pull this whole pump out is to disconnect it that whole plate from the crank case um, or from the timing case so I'll disconnect them first that pipe and we'll see if she'll come out it should be all 14 mil Initially assumed the um, the main shaft for the raw water pump snapped, which has happened before on this boat, which is why I assume that's what happened. Um, the main shaft connecting to the timing case there, and going through into the pump. Um, but I'm hoping that maybe the inside of the impeller has just come loose from the impeller blades itself. So I'll rip that out first and check that. It's probably more likely, but. I just assumed it was something that's happened before. So we use the impeller pulling tool and see how we go. It's not always the easiest thing, but at least we've got the right tool for the job. Oh, the whole thing's gonna come, so we'll just do that. This has happened before. The whole um, outer brass housing of the 
the pump, the wear plate essentially. Just coming out. Instead of pulling the impeller out of it. Shortly we're gonna know what's happened. Well, that's pretty amazing, actually. A decent bit of steel. Hmm. out. Um, it looks a bit messy. I reckon the seal and bearing may have been going for a while. And it's a bit hard to tell on this one so um, I see the bearing let go. Create a bit of movement and that's what caused it to snap. So um, it might be here every... Another thing I've done is just lifted the um, main water inlet up with some cable ties just because that, that main sea cock. It's um, it seals 95 99%, but that's a bit of a dribble. So now that's above actually above water line, so there's no water coming in there now. Um, so as usual, that was fun. The only positive thing is exactly what I thought it was, which is one of the worst things it could be, but still all good, at least we can fix it. I actually have spare parts to fix it if I wanted to quickly now, but I think we'll get a full refilled kit for this pump. Um, have a look at it. So there's the um the gear of the timing in the timing the front section of the motor um, that obviously the shaft connects onto there that's where we've had a failure point shoe bolts on there shafts in there and turn that feeds the um the impeller pump but yeah i initially thought the bearing had failed and that's why it snapped but um it's all nice and tight the bearings nice and smooth still in good condition despite it looking messy as hell so i'm not sure why it snapped but i know it's the second time it's happened on this motor in in you know 15 20 years so it's not that bad but it is what it is so yeah i'll get um i'll get the full rebuild kit for it put new bearings and seals and clean it all up and we'll get it back in there cheers Hey guys, so yeah, a couple of weeks later, um, got our parts here overnight from Japan, or America, in this case. Um, wasn't cheap, but we got it all. Um, hopefully it's all the right stuff. We'll open it up and have a look. Um, unfortunately, in the meantime, um, the birds have made themselves at home. So um, we've got a bit of cleaning up to do once we get this back up and running. Yeah, not looking forward to this to be honest, but um, we'll get it done so we can get fishing again tomorrow. So yeah, we got um, our rebuild kit for the old pump and a brand new pump. Um, couldn't really afford to um, have something in the rebuild kit not work, so got a new pump as well and we'll rebuild the old one so we'll have a spare so we won't have to wait for parts next time. Here's the new one. Nice and flush. And there's the old one in pieces. So there's the shaft that snapped there. 
um, we'll pull this section apart and get the stuff bolted on there that we need to so a um, couple of little nice dings on the edge there but not too bad considering it's come from America in a couple of days so we'll get that bolted together and get it ready to go back on the motor Got it in. About as fun as I thought it was going to be. So, check those O rings on there, new V band clamps, get it plumbed up, bit of bubbles in there before we start it, and we should be good to go. Cool. Alright, so while I'm going, this is a, one of the fittings that came out. Um, see that there? That's an engine anode. Can't really see it. That's what it's meant to look like. So you can see there's not much left of her. Um, I normally do these in refit, which is about a month's time every year, but obviously with this bit out on the bench, I'll do it now because it's a bit easier to get to. See, so we've got an anode hanging out there now. So yeah, you want to make sure you put some bubbles in your fresh pump. So if it does run dry for a few moments, um, it's got a bit of lube. Things we're talking about a a five thousand dollar pump. I'll put plenty down there. It's all done. I have to go down there one more time before I start it. Just turn the batteries on. We want to see water out this side.
Maybe your deck eyes, dickhead. So yeah, let me put deck eyes outside. There we go again.